battery packs come. So it's six 1.2 volt uh, AAs. I think it's nine volt altogether. So it's going to fit this. It was working before on the little battery that I used, tested it on. Let's see for sure. Right, so that fits with them down at the top right hand corner. It ain't very brilliant, but that might hold it in place a bit better. I've done my training on one of these, so these are brilliant tools. I've done, I've done the uh, inspection, testing and verification. But it was the 16th edition, so it was years ago. But still good. Yep, turn it on. So I've only got two normal multimeter leads, so I can't do much testing. So it's on volts. I'll just push it in the mains. So that 240 volt, that's working. So I'll try the resistance. Uh, insulation resistance. Oh, I'll just turn it off for some reason. So greater than 500 mega ohms. I'll touch them together. I ain't going to touch the terminals out. So yeah, that's working. Let's see the continuity. So it's already zeroed. So uh, brilliant. Oh no, I don't know. Yep, looks like it's working. I can't really do a loop test because I need to buy more cables for it. I've only got two normal more meter leads, so I need another lead and the plug. So you can plug it in and test RCDs and that. But so far it's looking good. Obviously I can't test loop and RCD to get more tools. So it's been a long time since I used one of these. Oh yeah, you slept through here, don't you like? So that's 300 milliamp, 400 milliamp. Times one, times five and a half. Both cycles of the, uh, both ends of the phase. No, and that's it, 180 degrees. Oh, I've got to go through with this and practice with it. But yeah, all working fine. So I got it for a bargain price.